Hello. In this video, I'll talk about the fears of AI. There are a lot of fears with AI, and unfortunately, a lot of times with new technology, it can be applied in good and negative ways. Prime example, the atomic bomb, atomic energy. So how is AI going to turn out? Even without AI, we have lost a lot of jobs. And this is one of the things people are afraid of, losing jobs. Well, all that self-checkout. A lot of people um, want this. I don't know. It um, seems like we're more and more into less human contact. That's, um, you know, I was a big resistant to uh, texting at first. It was like I wanted to actually talk to people, but it's like everyone, you got to text them now and nobody communicates any other way. And it's like everyone's a CEO of uh, some big corporation of some sort, but somehow that doesn't seem to be, but nevertheless. So AI, yes, even without it, we have lost a lot of jobs. just from the self-checkout and a lot of jobs being threatened even without ai self-driving cars get rid of um truck drivers so that is one area that concerns people about ai the jobs the other part is um it being used to impersonate people. See, AI can look like you, sound like you, talk like you, and it could be used, as I read, at the end of a political campaign, you could have an AI looks like you, sounds like you, say something or do something, hidden camera, whatever, that will destroy the campaign. And there's not enough time to disprove this. So this could have dire consequences on elections in various parts of the world. Or make your political opponents look bad. And by the time the truth comes out, elections are already over. So this is a possible concern. It could happen anywhere in the world. That's another one. One that makes me scared. Um, there's a race to use AI in the military. Well, an AI is not going to distinguish between civilian targets and military targets. And as AI improves, it may make its own decisions. What if AI... And since we're getting more and more into using it for the military, self-flying warplanes, aircraft carriers, etc., that is coming out. All countries are doing this. It's advancing extremely fast. Tests are being done. Progress is being made. What if AI took over an atomic bomb? and did not have the hesitation of the consequences of it, could just take one of those dropped by AI that could cause a trigger effect and not enough time to evaluate that it was AI's fault, etc. And AI started a nuclear war. This is something that concerns me. So these are some of the aspects 
that concern a lot of people about AI. By if there's something here that I should have mentioned that I didn't mention, please let me know in the comment section. And let's have conversations about these things. But nevertheless, in the next video, I will talk about the AI lawyer. This is something that I was shopping and just thinking about AI and I came up with this concept of the AI lawyer. So anyways, that will be the next video. Hope this video got you to think. It's good to be aware, not freak out. Some usually what's going to happen is somewhere between our greatest fears and our biggest dreams of what AI could be positively and negatively. Usually these things somewhere fall somewhere in the middle of those two perspectives. Of course, we hear more of the fear perspective. But nevertheless, we'll see how it goes. You will have to adapt a lot in this life. Things will be changing fast. It will be very challenging for all of us. Thank you.